There, I just did my thumbnail for today. Roll intro. Hi everyone, welcome to Pal the Tech. In today's video, we are gonna talk about the great disappearing blank LCD screen, otherwise known as Gibbles. Here's what's happening. On the rear LCD screen itself, you can have all kinds of information that you overlay on the screen. You simply go into screen setup, DISP custom setting, and you could put a check mark in whatever box of information you wanna have displayed on your screen. And when you do that, you will see it display on the screen. Now, when you're out and about shooting and you're using the LCD screen, you can use the DISP back button on the rear to toggle through some various views of that screen. For example, you can toggle it to show basic exposure and other scene information. Or you can, of course, toggle it to show your scene with the overlay information. You see that? Or you can press the button again and have a blank screen. There are a lot of times when I'm doing my composition and my framing, I don't want to have anything on that LCD screen. I want to have it completely blank and just show the scene that I'm trying to capture. There's also one additional toggle view that you can get on this LCD screen if you have the camera set to manual focus. Now, when you use your DISP back button, you can toggle from the regular view to the blank clear screen to the screen of information, and then you get this additional screen. You see that right there with the box? And that shows a close-up view that you can more easily see using the manual focus ring on your lens. Are you with me so far? You have your LCD screen with the various views. You can use the DISP back button to toggle through them. And depending upon what your focus mode is set in, whether it's on M or C and S, you can see that additional screen showing you the close-up view of the manual focus. So now let me show you the problem. If I want a clear view and I toggle with the DISP back button, it works just fine. If I go into my menu settings, into screen setup, and I turn on my large indicators mode for the LCD screen. Now watch what happens when I press the DISP back button. Boom. Press it again. There's that view. Press it again. I'm back to here. It changes to this mode right here, but it doesn't show me the blank screen. It still has these overlays on it. You see that? I can't get rid of them. If I go back into my menu and I turn off large indicators mode, there it is. So the only solution that I know of is to put the camera out of large indicators mode, and that way you can then clear the screen by using the DISP back button. I prefer large indicators mode because I have crappy eyes, but I also want the flexibility of being able to clear out completely all of the overlays and just see my scene. I'd like to have both. I don't think that's too much to ask for. And so Fujifilm, this is the issue. This is the video I made for it, and hopefully with a future firmware update, we can get this thing resolved. Before I go, let's do one movie trivia question. There are a bunch of clues on this mug. I'm going to point to one of them. That is a clue for a movie. You need to pick the movie and figure it out. Which movie is it? Here we go. Are you ready? I'll give you the answer in just a second. What movie is that from? Shawshank Redemption. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful or <laughs> a bit entertaining. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I'll see you again in a new video very soon. Take care.